Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 10th, and today was a lovely, wonderful day, aside from the torrential, insanely powerful rainstorms and the flash floodings and all that good fun stuff that came about. Um, got this morning, went and got my run done real quick from there, got back home, got cleaned up, had a couple things left to do in the house before I headed up to see my surgeon. Um, went up to see the surgeon and got looked at. Um, the guy was cool. A little bit of a weird at first. It was like, I don't know, it kind of came off wrong. And then we got along great. And actually, I think he wants me to give him some run coaching tips to help him run his first half marathon. He's 51 years old, and he wants to run a half marathon. So I told him I would take care of that for him. It would not be a problem. So we did go ahead. We talked a little bit. Told him what was going on with the hand. Um, he basically you know, asked a bunch of random questions like, what are you taking for pain? And I said, I don't. I just suck it up and that kind of thing and we decided to try and do a cortisone shot which is one of the things I was after I was really wanting to have done um, just because it's the most um, it was invasive it's the least likely to cause me permanent damage or screw up if it goes done wrong so got the cortisone shot which right now my hand is not feeling wonderful from it um, it's not great but I went ahead and got it anyway um, and if it doesn't get better in four weeks, he said, I'm supposed to get a hold of him. We'll take the uh, projectile out of my hand and do what they call a trigger release, I guess, which is like, I guess, I don't know, whatever the hell it is. I'll do more research into it before I actually get it done, or I might not. The guy seemed like he knew what he was doing, so I will trust him on that and just let him fix my damn hand. So from there, headed back home, um, finished packing the car. It took me about 40 minutes to finish packing the car, freezer and food and all the and clothes and last little bits of stuff here and there. And that car is packed tight. Like, it's, there's no room for nothing left in there. It's ridiculous. Um, went ahead, just headed out. And as I was getting in the car, literally saying goodbye, um, the car, like, it was ridiculously, like, it started pouring down rain, heavy-ass rain. And it poured on me about three hours or so of my driving. Ridiculousness. So I drove for right about eight and a half hours, I think it was. Well, after I left the house. I already drove an hour home from there. drove an hour, well, hour and a half up. So I'm in... I'm 11 hours into driving right now, not counting the doctor's office and the rest stops and stuff. 11 hours of actual um, behind the wheel driving, which is ridiculous in a day. So it does suck when you have to go three hours out of your way um, before you even start your, you know, 20 plus hour trip back down to Florida. So, but it's all done. I'm now in a little town called like Panock, I think, um, Kentucky. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it is what it is. Um, great little rest stop. I'm in my hammock. You can kind of see the netting around me. Um, you can see it there again. I'm in the hammock, the dog's right here below me in a little picnic area and like a little shelter. So if it rains, we won't get wet, which will be awesome. Uh, I'm gonna try and get two hours of sleep or so. That's my goal. And at least two hours of sleep, that's my goal. And then get up and drive tonight and maybe pull over again right before sun up and throw the hammock up again, grab another nap, and then basically bust on gas down to Florida. So that's all I got for right now. Uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.